All right, guys, welcome back to another fun filled Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. I want to tell you guys that you have the opportunity. We're doing a giveaway with the guy who made me that intro. So make sure you click right here in this little speech bubble or check the link in the description below. It'll take you to his channel and it'll tell you all about how you can enter to win your very own intro made by Juice GFX Graphics. Really cool guy, make sure you get down on that. Well, today, I'm gonna teach you how to import your media into Final Cut Pro 10 and where those media files are going. Sometimes it can be confusing to people so I want to help you uh, to make sure you know exactly where your project files are. Uh, there's two methods of doing this. You can import your media into your computer, uh, into a folder wherever you want, or you can import your media straight into Final Cut Pro, and that's where it gets a little tricky finding your media once Final Cut brings it in. So first I want to show you how to bring your footage in directly from the camera, and it's super easy but I want to make sure you have everything set up right. So if you look here, you see how it says Gilroy Tutorials right here. That's our library. Uh, and the library is what holds all your events. This is our event right here, Importing Media. Okay, so obviously we have a project in here, but we don't have any media files. So let's go ahead and bring those in now. All you have to do is click this little arrow here, or you can hit File, Import, Media and it'll import media into the event based on whichever event you, you have selected. So if you take a look on the left side, that's our browser. And if you see here, we have the GoPro. And I know that we want just this first clip right here. So let's go ahead and just select that one clip. And we're going to say Import Selected. And you get this dialog box, OK? Uh, the upper half wants to know, where do you want Final Cut to put this movie clip? And you can either add it to an existing event, which we already have importing media created, or you could create a brand new one in either library, whichever, how many libraries you have, you can put it in either one, and then name it something clever. But I'm going to put it in the existing event. And down here below, you see where it says copy library or leave files in place. Uh, I want you to pay attention to that little part, because when we move on to copying from the SD card, that's where I want to show you what leave files in place does. But as for these other options, I typically leave them unchecked because we don't really need to make any changes there. So go ahead and click the import button. And Final Cut's going to go ahead and bring in to our importing media event this clip that we want. And we can select our in points, and we can select our out points, and we can drag it in there. Have this big giant long clip. Now, if you'll notice, in the uh, bottom left hand corner of this clip thumbnail up here, you see that little, it's almost like a clock. That's basically Final Cut's way of telling you that it has to still import that media into the program. And if you click down here, right, right to the left of the time code, right there, that little percent sign you see there, this is your background tasks dialog box. And it shows you every little step where your progress is on importing files. So if you drill that little carrot down, it'll show you that you're bringing in one clip and it's at 5%. And until that imports all the way, you're going to have to, you're just going to have to wait for it. And see, this is where, and I'm going to be honest, I prefer importing my movie files into a folder onto my desktop or, or anywhere else. And then I will import my media from my computer on my hard drive. Okay, so starting fresh, all I did was clear out that video clip that we brought in straight from the camera. And what I want to do now is I'll slide over to my desktop and show you how I bring in clips from an SD card. So what I do typically is create a new folder. And I would title that folder something like importing media. And then I'll open up my SD card. And we'll just drag over, and I don't want to bring all of them in, we just need one. We'll just bring one clip and we'll copy it into that folder. Okay, so back into Final Cut. Now you're going to do the same process. We're going to click this little arrow here this time. We showed you the File menu shortcut, so you can go File, 
import media. Or you can just click one button, which is always nice. So now, um, we're not looking for cameras. We, we put it somewhere in our computer, so we're going to go uh, to desktop. And then we're going to find that folder that we just made called Importing Media. Open that up. And then here's the clip that we brought in. So we've already done some of the heavy lifting as far as bringing in the file. So let's just select that file, import all. Here's where the dialog changes. Before we could hit copy to library. But this time we don't want to copy it to library because we already have it on our computer. We can simply leave the file in place. And as long as we don't change the location of that movie clip, we won't have any issues. And you can create keywords and stuff like that. I just keep this stuff unchecked. Import. So now, just as before, inside of our importing media event, we have in our list this one movie clip. And you'll notice immediately, we don't have that little clock in the corner. Because Final Cut doesn't need to import it. It's already, it's already there. And this is great because you don't have to wait for it. You can select your endpoint now. You can select your outpoint. And you can drag it in. And you don't have to wait for it to render. You'll notice that our bar here is at 100%. And that's exactly why I prefer bringing in footage. You, you copy it to your computer first, and then you import it into Final Cut. Alright, so basically, as far as importing media goes, that's just about it. I wanted you guys to have an understanding of the difference between importing your media straight to the camera and importing it from your computer. That's about all I got for you today, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I can't wait to see you guys right back here next time. If you're digging these videos, make sure you leave me a like and put all your feedback and suggestions in the comments section below. Next week, we're going to go over the tools and keyframing, so make sure you stay tuned.